Hey guys, Steve Araujo here. I've decided to expand my plugins, and uh, this is going to be a new addition to the studio here. Uh, this is the UAD2 satellite quad core by Universal Audio. So I'm going to do an unboxing and uh, check it out. Unbox this thing. And then after I'm done unboxing it, I'm going to uh, do a quick install and run through a couple of plugins with you guys. And so, pretty rad. I'm excited. Cool. So, we've got a product catalog. Pretty nice. You can check it out. Comes with this little foam. And there it is. There is the unit at that. Hopefully it's Hopefully it's focusing in. Oh, there it is. Comes with a Firewire 800 cable. I think this is my install disc. Yep, power supply. So, that's it. There we go. The light's a little better. And let's see. Alright guys, so before I do the installation, I know I went over this really quickly, this read this first, really briefly, but this is really important. I was reading it, and it's definitely giving you the do's and don'ts and what is required to run this piece of gear, uh, the satellite, on, uh, on a Mac-based system. It also, it is not bus powered, so the power supply that comes with it, um, obviously is, uh, you know, has a two-prong US type of uh, plug, but it also comes with an international set, so Europe and uh, wherever. So it'll work everywhere. I'm going to go through the installation here. Step by step, basically, I haven't done anything. I just have my computer started up. I've got everything, um, I've got no programs up. I've got the UAD2 driver, the UAD powered plugins for audio, audio units, and the UAD powered plugins for VST. So I'm going to hit that install. That whole little process took about maybe, I don't know, five, eight minutes, somewhere around there. And now it's just asking me to restart the computer. So I'm going to hit it, restart. I just restarted my computer and I'm going to, in, going to install the hardware now. My hardware piece right there. All right, so here's my FireWire 800 cable. So now I've got the power supply. All right, guys, so now I'm going to flip it on. There's a little on-off switch on the back. And now... It's on. I did the install and there's a little uh, shortcut here on my little pop-up little menu that I have and I went ahead it says a UAD meter and control panel. Uh, there's a little pull down menu on the thing here and you go to plugins and actually start, shows all of the plugins that you have and there's also a tab where you go to system info and there's a little update available so I think I'm gonna do that. So I hit it. It says uh, software update. Near UED plugins uh, software is available. New plugins include. So download updated software now. And I hit OK. All right, guys. So I'm going to upload the latest software. It says UAD Mac version 591.zip. So I'm hitting it. And I'm going to log in. I've registered the card and I've done all the updates. So um, basically, when I go to my dock, here and I have it on the left, my dock. I go to the UAD meter and control panels and I go ahead and open up system info. That will actually literally give me all my system information. So right here it's telling me what version I have, 5.9.1, um, plug-in latency, my hardware, then it shows my plugins. And basically when it shows the plugins here, you can do demos on different um, different plugins. Like right here, I'm going to do a demo of the SSL E channel strip, um, the UAD EL7 Fatso Junior, the DBX160. Um, so I'm going to start those demos when I and then when I start up uh, Logic, I'll go through those. I've got my installation. I've got my Logic um, track or Logic project up. This is just a loop, little idea I'm working with with just a uh, drum loop and a uh, bass line. There's bass, big and fat, on the Poltec EQ, and then I'm going to bring in my 1176. And let's see what we have. So this is uh, gentle bass compression. Here is fuzzy bass. Kind of gives it a little growl to it. Gives it a little growl. 
But anyways, I'll go back to the gentle bass comp and let me solo it. So there's the bass by itself. That's the 1176. There's the bass dry. And there's the Poltec EQ. All right, and then I'm gonna go to the drum track here. So here's the uh, UAD, the uh, Studer A800. And let me solo. So there's the drums solo. That's with the Studer on. So the drum, uh, the Studer off. So here it is on again, and I'm gonna mess with, uh, let's see what do we got here, factory presets. Dance hall. <laughs> so I've got a lot of presets to mess with here, so pretty cool. Um, hard rock. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go to hip hop. And let's see. Old tape. And I'm gonna bring in the UAD EMT 250 plate reverb. Drum room, snare verb. You can hear that wetness on that snare. Cool. All right, guys. So now I have the uh, the EL7 on the uh, on the master button on the output master output. Uh, so this is tape bus, and here's my right here my output. I could raise or lower it. Uh, sorry. So let's go to the next preset, which is. Midas touch, kind of brings the gain down, so I'm gonna bring the gain up. There's the gain up, again, matching my first preset. And let's see, let me go to a different master bus. There's a master bus preset. So there's, I can go down my level, my output, I should say, or raise it up. So anyways, so that is, let me bring up all of them here so you can see them. So there's all of them. So anyways, that was just a quick little demo and I um, I know I'm just doing this on my little microphone here, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick little demo um, and a sound bite. Um, but I will definitely record some stuff and um, bounce it down in Logic and actually um, get some really good good clean audio. All right guys, so that was the UAD2 satellite quad core. There it is. And there it is. So, hope you dig it. See ya.